I have the utmost respect for project managing. And when you've been working all day, sometimes all night, and you come home and project managing is the thing that creates success professionally, it's completely understandable that you would employ your project managing attitudes and behaviors in your home. In fact, it works. It gets things done. It contributes to creating rhythms and routines in your household and having people follow them. Your project managing energy is what has people put their shoes away and brush their teeth before going to bed and set the table, clear the table, have homework done, backpacks packed, lunches made for school or the lawn mode. Like your project managing skills in your household, they are needed, they are important, and I respect and honor them. However, the reason I'm talking about project managing in the context of talking about the archetypes that prevent connection in a marriage is because when you treat your spouse as someone you project manage, that also erodes the erotic chemistry. In fact, when I was talking before about being a child in the relationship, if we're thinking of women, it's the archetype is damsel in distress, that if you are that way much of the time, your spouse is not going to be attracted to you because that energy is not the energy of erotic partnership and building intimacy together. Now, when it comes to being a project manager in your home, your spouse may well be attracted to you and appreciate your power and be fully available to connect. But if you are project managing, it is unlikely that you're going to feel turned on, that you're going to be attracted to your spouse, not because of anything, if I'm going to speak of women, but it goes in the other direction as well. It's not because your husband is any less attractive, any less skillful and responsive in bed, any less devoted to your pleasure. No, you are not going to be attracted because the project managing energy is not the energy of intimate connection. It's the energy of getting things done. And that's not where the erotic juiciness flourishes. It's where it wilts and becomes dehydrated. So in this context of talking about how being a project manager in your marriage prevents intimate connection. In fact, let me just say that as a woman listening, if you have this tendency, I expect you to recognize it. If you're a man with this tendency, you may not be as likely to recognize it because it's a way of being that men are encouraged to, to embody and rewarded for. And so if you wonder if you project manage your wife, ask her because I'm pretty sure she's going to know immediately whether or not that's the case. <laughs> 